All right, class, so today you are going to be doing a momentum lab uh, digitally. You can find that on Canvas. It will be titled Momentum Lab. So when you open that Momentum Lab, click Intro like I just did, and all your settings here are, um, well, you need to set them. So as you can see, it's set on elast uh, elastic already, so you're going to keep that for your first three trials, so experiment one. You're going to set ball one to one kilogram, you're going to set ball 2 to 2 kilograms. And as you can see, there's a velocity and a momentum there already. So I went ahead and recorded those in my first table. So here's your um, ball 1 before. So that is coming from these two numbers. And then you have your momentum before. That's those two numbers, which are right here. Um, after I hit the simulation, so play, pause, you can see those numbers changed. So I recorded those numbers below. So I have negative one and 0.5, which are right here, your velocity. And then I have negative one and one right here. So one, what you do after that down here, the total momentum before the collision, you have one minus one, easy math equals zero. One minus one equals zero here, because one minus one. So in your second trial, what you're going to do um, is set your own velocity. So you're going to change. The, you're going to hit reset first. Change that velocity to whatever you want. It only goes from three or negative three to three, and then you're going to record your before and after just like we did above. So um, I hope that helps. But I want to show you the uh, inelastic part too. So in experiment two, and again, I already pre-did this. So. Um, I'm going to hit reset again. No, oh, it's already reset, but that's okay. Better to be safe than sorry. Then I'm going to go to inelastic. And um, so again, I'm going to record those velocities and momentum. So I have my before velocities, my before momentums. And then, um, spoiler alert, um, you're going to hit this. And those balls are going to stick together. So then you're going to record your velocity and momentum. And as you can see, there is no velocity and momentum anymore. So you have a bunch of zeros, and that max makes your math down here really easy. I'm going to space this out, actually. So again, you have 1 minus 1, because uh, you can just subtract that minus 1, that, or that negative 1. Um, and that looks ugly, so there. So 1 minus 1 equals 0, and then 0 plus 0, of course, also equals 0. So that's showing you that the momentum is conserved. So this should be showing you con conservation of mass and momentum. Um, so again, when you're doing those inelastic experiments, you're picking your own velocity. So you could just, so reset. You can change this to 2, hypothetically, whatever you want. You can change this to negative 2. You're going to get some different velocities and momentum to record. You're going to hit play. And then something kind of different happened that time. So then you'd pause it, record those velocities and momentum, um, and then make sure you're doing the math in this part. That is very important. And then throughout the assignment, there are a few questions. Um, it says, what happened to the total momentum in all these collisions? Did this already always happen? Sorry. Use Newton's laws to help you out. Use Newton's laws. Make sure you are referencing those laws. That is what this activity is all about. So make sure you're doing that. And then there are a couple um, couple questions below too um, to answer. Of course, ask me for help throughout. That is what I get paid for. So I'm here to help you. Um, I hope this video helps. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.